welcome to episode four of Don't Quote Me with Renee Christina, Something Strange for a Little Change. I'm here with my co-host Giovanni and my two guests. You guys want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Demi. Hi, I'm Addie. Tell them how old you are, what your sign is, and what your occupation is. Um, I'm 23. Okay. I work at Saxon Avenue. The sign. My sign. Oh, I'm Aquarius. I'm sorry. So I'm, I'm 22. I'm a Pisces, and right now I'm just doing things. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I love it. So this week's episode is about sex workers. Sex workers are adults who receive money or goods in exchange for consensual sexual services or erotic performances, either regularly or occasionally. So uh, sex work is defined by Oxford as paid employment in the sex industry, and there's different kind of sex work. So we have like. Porn stars, escort services, strippers, alcohol services. Uh, those pe- what do you call them? the massage therapists that like you get a happy ending. And then there are prostitution. There's prostitution tourism and street walkers. So street walkers are hookers who have pimps. Prostitution tourism is kind of what they have in like Amsterdam, where they're in like the red light district. Right. Right. Yeah. So they usually work in a brothel. Um, they have dominatrix, sex operators. Uh, and back, they used to have backstage. We don't backstage. But today we're going to talk about OnlyFans for a Before while. Before that, though, paying a pimp to sell your own pussy is crazy. No, you pay the pimp for protection <laughs> and for cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cigarettes. I've seen the movies. It's for protection and for cigarettes. Um. So OnlyFans started in 2016, and it's an online forum for uh, people to create content that is exclusive that you can't find anywhere else. So you can find anything from like cooking recipes to like peep shows or like music that's unreleased. Um, and I feel like early COVID quarantine, like March, OnlyFans got super popular. Yeah, all of the, it says that in March of 2019, 80% of online sex work went up. So um, there was a spike in 70% of sex operators. Because for a while, sex operators were like out because well, what would I call you when I can yeah. get a webcam girl? But it went back up because now I can't really go to a strip club. <clears throat> and then OnlyFans was up 80% and they had to hire, in the first two months, they had to hire 100 more employees because there was more traffic. Mm-hmm. But originally OnlyFans was not made for sex work. It yeah. was made for like cooking and like makeup and stuff. And they just took it over because of Corona. Um, and then after, um, so I hadn't really heard about OnlyFans until sex work got involved. And I feel because like I'm not paying to watch you cook at your home. Right, that, that's what I'm. I'm gonna go YouTube that. But like, I think it got super uh, popular when Tory Lane started. What did he have? Quarantine the Live, quarantine the radio. I loved quarantine yes. radio. Yes, and then Beyonce said, um, "On that Demon Time, she might start her OnlyFans." So like, when Demon Time and like Quarantine Live had got lit, that's because we were all in the house fucking bored and nothing better. Than right. That. Um. Uh, there are a hundred million creators worldwide, eighty-five million registered users, and they pay out more than two billion dollars a month. And a hundred users have made more than a million dollars. Um. Okay, so we're gonna let you guys tell your stories. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Okay. So tell us how you started on your OnlyFans. What your subscription fee is. What kind of content you have. And scale one to ten of how raunchy. Okay, um, I started back in March because, yeah, in the beginning of March. Like, it's crazy because I didn't know anything about OnlyFans. My ex was like, I think you should make an OnlyFans account. And I'm like, what is that? That is like the highest level of compliment. I think you're so sexy, <laughs> people would pay to see See, you. yeah, he said it just like that because I was, like, telling him, like, look, sex, cut my hours so I'm not going to be bringing any like bread like that in home so I'm gonna need help he was like I'll help you but I think you know to keep money flowing in your pocket make an OnlyFans account on your own terms so I'm like okay so I'm like doing my research and stuff I went ahead and made the account but I never posted on my OnlyFans account so I'm hearing all these girls is making money like ten thousand dollars a week I'm like 
<laughs> for my house. Right. And I have a I have a daughter. So Are you I'm like traditionally a nude taker. I was about to ask if you're It's crazy. I like y'all, I lost my virginity when I was like sixteen. Like I was like I mean like, I was kinda shy, but like I don't know. I was like fucking it's a ball in a coin. I'm gonna have to get with it or run from it. But but okay, so before um OnlyFans were you like thought of as like sexual or like I mean maybe like on the internet like Yeah, people thought of me as sexual. Yeah, like have you modeled or anything? Yeah, I do like photo shoots and stuff and you took a couple of my bitches before, so Okay. I love the plug in. And he's here. <laughs> so, um yeah, so after so you started off and you did post and then what was like your first post? My first post, um, it was August the first. You made your account in March and, and you it kept took, it inactive. Yes, until while August. it was inactive, were there any subscribers? No, because I never put the link out there. Okay. I never did. <laughs> I was like, dang, these people gonna be looking at me crazy. Mm-hmm. I post. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna post on my own thing because people are acting now. So your first post was what kind of content? Like a picture? It was a picture of me and I had like my um, titties out. Okay. And. I had like my little, little I, I had my areola showing, show showing, showing. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, I'm showing. Like, so areola, but no nipple. No nipple. I put um, the tees. Yeah, I was <laughs> teasing. Come back for more. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> pay per message. Right. <laughs> right. That's how I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start it off like that. And then, like I said, guys were subscribing, and one of my subscribers he wrote me on a fake page, you guys, and was like, I want you to see this only fan business. <laughs> We need more. We need more. We've been waiting for this from you. We need more. I'm like, what the hell? Like, what more do you want from me? Like, what more you're like, do you I want to see your <laughs> So, and it's like, I was even like posting like videos of me twerking and stuff, like me in a shower. And I was like blurting out my vagina part. So, like, y'all can just see my ass and my tattoo. Like, I'm not gonna let y'all see my vagina. But then, I got that message like two more times. So I'm like, okay. From now, two different people. From two more different people. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, give yeah. What they want. I'm about to give y'all what y'all want. <laughs> I posted like an old video of me and my, my ex like having sex. And then that video went crazy. People was tipping that video. I was going to say, so your, what's your subscription fee? It's 30, 30, $30.99. Okay. And what's the most that you've been tipped? The most I've been tipped was $200. And what's the most like... Uh, pay per message, message you've done um, that you've actually done like a hundred dollars okay. like but hundreds is the is the cap. minimum they put no oh, hundred no, is the, the cap now you can't get more than yeah, hundred dollars per message minimum. okay understood uh, okay now you tell us um, I started OnlyFans in the end of August I've been about OnlyFans since 2016 when like it started yeah when it first started and a friend of mine well a few friends of mine was telling me to do OnlyFans but I wasn't that comfortable with myself yet mm-hmm. so I didn't start it yet so like I was I was in Atlanta over the summer I was there for like three four months where everyone is a sex worker exactly <laughs> literally <laughs> exactly so I was like okay like I really have nothing to lose at this point like yeah. I'm not around anybody that would subscribe to my OnlyFans so I'm like okay why not like I spoke to um my man the night before and I was like I, just, I feel like I have one year only fans, blah, blah, blah. I've been talking about it. I was talking to him about it for like over a year, and, like before we even got like anywhere near serious. And he's been telling me to do it, so I was like, okay, whatever. I should do it. And I did it, and like it went crazy. What was the first pose? My first pose, I had a butt plug in, and I think I was like bent over it in the shower. Yeah, I, I, I took it big. Oh, she said we yeah. gonna start. Yeah, because if we gonna do it, we gonna do it. Right. Go. Um, what's the most that you? What's your subscription fee? Uh, it's, it's eighteen. Okay, and what's the most you've been tipped? Um, the most I've been tipped was one fifty. And the most pay per message? Pay per message, I think. Like okay, now let's get into the raunchy stuff. The stuff that people Wait, you guys actually. forgot to scale, scale one to ten? How, how raunchy? raunchy. Well, she says that she has a butt plug in her. How about like I? Yeah, I do a lot. Like I, I took it. Okay. That butt plug makes me think. Do you guys remember that picture of that bald girl bent over the butt plug? Yes, yes. And like a gas station. Yeah. Yes. And everyone thought she was me. I was getting tagged on Twitter. I'm like, this is not me. My hair's not blonde. <laughs> okay. Um, tell us the craziest request because on OnlyFans, for those who don't know. You can pretty much message them and request special Anything. things. 
but then you have to pay like your subscription fee doesn't cover right. the shit that you did DM. It only covers the shit in their feeds. So what is the most outrageous request that you have had? Like tell me your craziest OnlyFans story. Somebody asked me well, it was like three in the morning and like some guy wrote me and he was like requesting like, a fart video. I'm three like, in the morning is when I'm looking for my porn, so that's why he was like, I'm like a fart video. Yeah, 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 yeah. A fart video. I'm just like Did you do it? No. I would have sent it to him and me. I was a little because he first of all I would have ate some Chipotle <laughs> and made first it happen. <laughs> I watch this. Please, 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 please. I'm not doing that. I can hurt you. <laughs> Definitely. You've never seen that episode of SpongeBob with Mr. Krabs told him that no request is ridiculous. He's got to make it happen. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was like, for me, that's when I, like, I. That's how much like, was he offering for the. Not enough. All right, do you remember how much, though? Like, how much you wanted to I be- think it was like 25. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's so all I am. I'm just like, like, like hell. Did you all do this at all? You I know, I, even, like, I got a boss on no. the that I got to get in position for you to hear it. That's not enough money. Yeah, no, 25. I don't even be gassy like that. <laughs> and you're only going to give me $25, but I have to go out of my way to, to find, find something that's going to make me. No, hell Stop no. being cheap. I was like, no. no. If you're like paying, because if you're going to be cheap, you can just, you know. Of it, mm-hmm. exactly because there's you picked me specific because you want to see it come out because you want it from my eyes. <laughs> so, pay for it. Okay, to me, what's your craziest? Um, I really don't have no crazy stories, but like my fans is like me, crazy. they don't ask anything outrageous, no. like they don't ever ask for anything you don't want to do. No, look at them. Wow, you guys are so so happy happy for for you know why? Why? They OD it on me. up your prices. <laughs> <laughs> they like, they like, <laughs> She ain't playing no fucking game. Yeah, yeah. No, I can't ask her to fart for $25. They knew they couldn't do that. That's, what you, that's really what it means. It's time, it's time for the um, New Year update. Okay, Um. do you guys ever have fans that like get a little out of control? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, talk, talk to us about that. Oh, like... It's like the fans, like, they'll be, like, aggressive in your, like, messages. Like, damn, Like, like you're down. supposed to do, supposed it, to do it right like, when they ask. Yeah. yeah. Like, no. Honey. Like, OnlyFans is the only thing that I have to do. Like, I'll do nothing Like, I'm at home hiding. completely naked waiting for you to request right. something in front of my fucking camera. Exactly. exactly. That's what I'm So, they act like y'all don't have a life yes, besides that. Outside of OnlyFans. Understood. Right. That's with any business, though. But, that's and that's true. with any that's fan. Any that's true. Because I feel, like, I feel like part of OnlyFans is, like, you guys are kind of sell- selling the girlfriend experience. So it's just like, you know, like, I'm here to cater to you, whatever it is that you're asking for, like, in their heads, it's like, oh, okay, you know, because I speak to Timmy's all day, I'm constantly paying and sending her messages, she just waiting for me to send her more money, and it's just like, you know, like, I got a man and a job right. and a kid, and I don't, I'm not <laughs> exactly. sending her wife. That's like the whole life. life. Like, I take naps, I sleep, like. <laughs> That's like the people that I do here, and people DM them at three in the morning, like, oh, you sell closures, like. For that's, those that's of, I am so sorry, but that's me, because I do all of my, like, Searching in the, in the middle of the night, and I, if I fall asleep, I'm gonna forget. But so I'm asking gonna is like one thing: expecting a expecting response. Nigga said four a.m. Question mark? Question mark? Like that's crazy. Um. So, do you feel like OnlyFans is sex work? Do you guys consider it sex work? Yeah. I yeah. Do. So neither of you guys do meetups. So okay, neither of you guys do meetups. So. It's but both like, of you guys have been in relationships while. Well, right, right, that's what. I, okay. So what's the relationship aspect like? What's Does your, only like, do they fans? Want to see it? Do they want to see what the message is? Is no. talking about? No. So does OnlyFans affect your relationships? No, because my nigga be with the shits. He be like, come on, let's do a video. Does okay. He, does he take any of your pictures for you? No, I take my own pictures, but he be like, when we be like fucking, he'll record it. Like, and they're like, hey, we got this one for free. I don't want to cut. <laughs> that was my next question. Like, like do we get a cut? No. Okay. Is it your pussy? I mean, right. it's kind of your pussy, but like, but it's, it's on my not body. Your pussy. You didn't take this picture and you didn't right. shave it this week, so. Okay. How often do you guys have to, like, so you're consistently waxed, right? Like, all the time? Or do you guys. So, what about the ones. <laughs> what about I'm not going to say it because he's he, he, he watching. Yeah, no, he is watching. What about the men who have, like, hair fetishes? Like, would you like, how much would a man have to pay you for you to let it grow, grow up? And what I'm talking about, like, is, what grow up. Is, like, in between waxes, I would, like, take pictures. In so have some content. Yeah, just, like, have some content kinky on hand ones. because people are weird. So, like, yeah, you know, some stuff oh, on that's hand. smart. That is really, really smart. Okay, so, but I feel like if you wax or anybody who waxes, you know that, like, hair grows back really finer. So it's like, yeah. I'm not going to have, like, a bush. 
But I'm gonna have something. What about the guys that wanna bush? They on their own. Because <laughs> my body don't even grow out like that. This so you don't get a bush for me. Right. Yeah. 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 My yeah. hair yeah. don't even grow out like that. Okay. So um, it hasn't affected neither of your your relationships? Well, it's some entanglement. But um, <laughs> no, it hasn't. He actually put the battery in my bag. Yeah. Okay, so exactly. same kind of. Is he subscribed to your OnlyFans? He's not. And we that, to... Is he subscribed to anyone else's OnlyFans? No. Okay. Okay. Because so, imagine. So um, imagine exactly. Imagine. imagine, and I know you're gonna see this. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so do you? Um, is your entanglement with my viewers? I love. Is it. your entanglement <laughs> one of? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, exactly. Oh, anyway, you know, is no, your yeah, entanglement? Okay. Is your um, <laughs> <laughs> Max Caller, <laughs> is your entanglement in your videos? Well, I find like two videos up there with him, but I got upset. One day, I was, he, one day I was mad and I just deleted them. And okay. I Has he ever asked to see your feet? No. Would you let him see your feet? Yeah. Would you let him see what's in the messages? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, you won't see all the money that everybody giving me. No, that's not what I asked. Would you <laughs> let him see what's in the messages? Yeah. Do you feel like you get paid more for the actual content or for the interactions? I feel like I get more. I get paid more for the actual content. Oh, okay. Wow. What about you, Sims? The interaction. Okay. Like the because she you message. you have loyal yeah like mm -hmm. subscribers and you just get a bunch of subscribers. No, I have both. Okay. What is it about? What about the interactions with clients off of OnlyFans? Do you know any of your subscribers in real life? You do. I don't know. That was a stupid question. Say, I know your only. I know your subscribers in real life. Exactly. But do they ever? Okay. Do you find that people will mention what you post? In, Some, like, yeah. Somebody, yeah. Somebody has like, oh my god, I love that picture. Yeah. That, I would fucking throw up. Like, don't. I would, my don't thing I'm is, off the clock right now. No, that's, that's my thing. thing. What I've experienced <laughs> is people would like write me like, oh, I'm about to subscribe to your OnlyFans, and I would be like, I prefer you not tell me because yeah. I don't want to know. Yeah, what's yeah what's I don't want to know who's there. I don't want to know who's there. Right. Okay. Because now I'm less likely to show you my ass. People in that circle. Yeah. I don't want to know it's going to creep me out. Because one of the security guards at SAC described to the only thing. No. <laughs> I'm like, no. Oh, I'm like, first of all, how the fuck did you find my Instagram? To exactly. even get to it. So That's to my next it. question. So, how was it like promoting? Like, because like, how do you promote while know, still keeping your social media right. separate from your only Because it's not, I know you're not going to yeah, post Twitter. the ass and then post. Your kid, like, <laughs> right. It's a little bit different for it's you. Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. No, because um, I don't post my daughter at all because people. I was a point. Yeah, people time, are weird. People are very people, weird. People like somebody drew like the penis thing on my daughter's face. So I'm like, wow. Yeah. So you yeah. had to have a separate. And this is before I even was doing. Run down because I was down. It was a fake pain. Yeah, so before. I before oh, yeah. She's saying it's before only. Things, I was yeah, like, so. oh yeah, I'm not posting a picture of my yeah. daughter. So I'm like. I always go to extreme on my social media because I don't post pictures of Elena. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like if I post, which her, works for her, it, it will work for her. Like even as she gets older, no way is gonna be able to connect the two. Two, they're gonna be like, oh, that's unless they like super invested, right? So that makes sense. Okay, now what about your relationships with? Because I don't know how you guys' families are, but my family literally does not mind their fucking business about anything. <laughs> yeah. I, that's why my page is public at this point because it's just like you guys are gonna go figure out your way to figure it out. Way, anyway, so anyway, so yeah. I might as well make it public. So what is it like with like? Do your parents know that you are OnlyFans? Yes. Okay. And then maybe I told my mother her on her birthday I had a OnlyFans. No, that's in March. March. That's so wait, no, when was I her? I remember you started in March. You posted in August. So birthday. when did you tell her? I, her birthday's in November. Okay. okay. So, you okay. So, so, so you made a couple of dollars. So, so like, my, this is worth it because look how much money yeah, I'm making. I pulled out the, like, the how, the, like the I was, receipts. I think I had like $2,000 sitting in my um thing that was supposed to be cashed out that I was just... I I waited to I wait for my money to build up, then I cash it out. Mm -hmm. okay. I showed my girl look. She like, Ooh, what's that? <laughs> I'm like the only fans. This like, is my only fans money. She's like, and you all right, can't have none. <laughs> Do your parents know that you're on OnlyFans? I don't know if my mom knows. She probably does because she's running my business. But, but you mom, never told my mom. Um, my cousin knew okay. when I was like in the process of doing it. Like I was about to start. Like, he broke. We were. He wrote me a whole paragraph, like, your self-worth, and I was just like, mind you, he's the broke cousin. <laughs> he's you the one. Only fan. No, because he's the one that anytime you need something, he can't give it to you, so how dare you? When you never have no money. Like, how are you going to cut me off when you do nothing for me? Right. He has a car, can barely afford gas, but anyway. Okay, so oh, what yeah. about the rest of the family members, like aunts? Because, you know, aunts and cousins, they really be the I don't know. So I feel I like once know. your mother approve. 
what fuck with the say. rest of them say and even if you don't if she doesn't you already at an age where it's like right like, i'm gonna do this wrong. regardless i'm not taking pictures in your house like neither it's one of you live because with your own like story. she said people like never minding my business because a fake page wrote my father about me yeah that's and why so, that's yeah. why i don't only fan that's my biggest fear because my father will be here right now yeah my like they wrote my father about me are my you father, that close me my father's my best friend yeah. so they told him before you did no it's like Basically, it was like, oh, like they would like screenshot my stuff and send it to my they father. They screenshot at your OnlyFans? That is, that is I had this nightmare, I swear. No, no, it's not on my OnlyFans. Like, they post it. I'm guessing they, they broke enough. They can't even freaking subscribe to my OnlyFans. They'll post, they'll the screenshot promo. my um, promo my videos. Like, not my promos, like my statuses and my mm, posts. And about stuff, your OnlyFans? About my OnlyFans, and we'll send it to him. And he'd be like, you're grown. I did. I did what I had to do. Right, like, I got you out of the house. You can take care of yourself. Right, like you're not on drugs. You're strung out or nothing. You on your own. And yeah. you could be selling like at this point. It's like I'm selling virtual pussy, but I could be selling real pussy. Exactly. Like, I could be selling actual pussy. Somewhere. And that's the thing. That's yeah. the thing. People think that's not. A I thing. couldn't get them to come up here, but I know prostitutes. So you could have been selling real pussy. I know prostitutes. Hmm. Okay, so now do any of your other friends do sex work? It's crazy because my I'm the friend that everybody go to. Like, I want to make an OnlyFans. I don't have to make an OnlyFans. I need help. Would you help me? Right. Like, my homegirl brought that. When they home, like, they want to collab and bump with you? I, 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 I done had a couple of those. They yeah. was like, I want to collab with you. you gotta, Especially because how you do have feel a about, following. Yeah. And I don't. Yeah. Yeah. How do you yeah. feel yeah. about the collab, though? I, I be with it. Like, because yeah, I feel like you have followers. I have followers. And, like, I wanted to do like one thing like, oh, you'll post an exclusive video that I don't have on my OnlyFans and I'll post one that you don't have on your OnlyFans. So they could watch both. So they could subscribe to both channels to see both videos. Yeah. I was doing research on OnlyFans earlier and this girl was saying that she has this toy that they can like hook their phones up to from somewhere exactly else and they can like change the vibration. Yeah. Yes, that's like a date night toy. Yeah. That is fucking, but they're not with her. They're you, oh, these no, are like no, people no, on phones. They download an app. They yeah. download an app and then they can change the vibration. I need that too. You guys should get that. I need that. Yeah. Too. Because I feel like I wouldn't subscribe to OnlyFans unless I could do that. Like if I could control how you masturbated, I would probably subscribe. Right? Mm, I like that. That's interesting. <laughs> that is really interesting. I was literally looking at that the other day on Twitter and I was just like, what? Yeah. I'm Have you seen one of you ever been a sugar baby? No, but I, I am one now. to be. Wonderful, let's talk oh about that. Okay, do you consider being a sugar this, baby sex worker? <laughs> that is... You look really good like Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. She, got, she got a man. She got <laughs> a holy <laughs> man. <laughs> and she got a sugar daddy. I don't got either. Wow. Does your sugar daddy have sugar daddy friends? <laughs> okay, <laughs> first question is, do you have sex with your sugar daddy? We never had sex before. Okay, so you don't consider it sex work. Okay, perfect. What's your relationship like? He's in love with me. Do you send him nudes? Yes. Okay, now, earlier it says erotic performances count as sex work. So since you send your sugar daddy nudes, that, that might be a sex work. Yeah. yeah. Okay, is he married? No, he's single. That's How old is he? Isn't that a rule? Aren't you not allowed to have a single sugar daddy because then he clearly wants to be your boyfriend? Clingy. No, but it's what's like, like how 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 old is he? He's like my sugar daddies be young, like they be in their thirties. How do you find them? Um, and secret- she and she works in sex. Okay, I yeah, would perfect. Like, that's 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 and then them. um and then before I worked at sex, I worked at Bloomingdale, so yeah, they were just her. falling in my hands. Like, Run his mm. and see if he really has really and it'd be like it, it be hood niggas, like the hood OG, like yeah, cause you know. I'm gonna show you what my dad looks like. You know. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you see <laughs> oh yeah, that is fine. Yeah. Ooh, you think he's you <laughs> my dad, y'all know my dad is gonna watch this episode. And the comments on YouTube, they're all about my dad. He's so cute, it's cause he looks like me. Um oh, okay. uh, that's what it is. That's totally what it is. That's totally what it is. Do you how long do you guys plan on being on OnlyFans? Until I hit a million. Okay. Million subscribers, a million dollars. Million dollars. How yeah, many subscribers do you have? I have, right now, I have 80 subscribers. Okay. And what's the most you've made in a month? The most I made in a month, I made about, in September, I made like September's always a really good. $8,000 of 80 people? No, and because my, my, now I have 80, but my, my followers go up and down. So what was down. it when you made the $8,000? How many subscribers were there? Damn, I don't even know. But it wasn't no more than 80 is what she's saying. 
So wait, hold on. You could have had less. Eight. Than, that's great. Eight. No, because it was a point in time I had, like, I dropped my prices from 30 and I did 15 in September. Mm-hmm. And everybody was subscribing. Oh, my God. Because they, they was like, they was like 30 <laughs> sound <laughs> crazy with 15. I, I got, got that. that. <laughs> I got that. So, like, you know what I never understand? If, let's mm-hmm. say, for your OnlyFans, if I'm like, I don't want to pay $30, but I pay 15 and Gio was like, she doesn't want to pay $30, she paid 15 can we just make one united account and then just, like, log on? And subscribe to I mean, all the you guys. Well, yeah. it, I and feel like the top of the login. I feel like it depends though, because like also because I'm having because I'm do they send you nudes back? Yeah, please do not send me nudes. Yes. Are they supposed to send nudes back? Like you say, you're can, supposed to They can. But, no, they, yeah. but not I didn't like pay for that. <laughs> I never suggested that. that you beat up on your screen. A lot of somebody wrote me one time like for me to rate his size, and I was just, how much was he gonna pay for the rate? He paid like $50, so I did it. What was the so right? I did it. I, did it. I was like, can I support some more? Like, I did it. Oh, yeah, I would have did it. Yeah, but he totally gave him time. I'll be waiting niggas for free. Yeah, Gia Bobby had great outfits all the time. Yeah. Oh, oh that's my okay. favorite. Oh. All right. She's not here. Yeah, yeah she's she's she took my shit out. Okay, now what about your relationship with your friends? Do you have any friends that you felt like were like super judgmental about yes, it? I do. And you had to cut them off? Did you have more for you guys for friends? I really want chicken. I've had, um, wow, well, these friends that I've had when I first started OnlyFans, I felt like it was kind of a jealousy thing. Like, they saw, like, me going up and they got jealous. But Did I, they have OnlyFans? No, but me, I encourage everybody. Like, if that's what you want to do, I'll just help you. Through. Right. I'll help you, but they, like, got a little weird, and I was just like, mm-hmm. yeah, I separated myself a little bit. But my friends, now, everybody supports me. Literally, everybody supports me. Everybody posts my link, my promo. Everybody posts everything. Mm-hmm. That's some good friends right there. Um, it's crazy because I don't like if they do, they don't tell me. Mm. They don't say like they don't. I don't like that you. I don't like she has all. I feel like. Realistically, it don't matter if you sell waters on Linden Boulevard. Like people are gonna always have something, something to say. Right, yeah. So if you're doing it because you want to do it, then especially in a time where like the legal ways to make money are so limited, I just feel like everybody needs to hustle. Mm-hmm. And I'm not gonna tell you not to do what's gonna make you money. Right, because I probably want you to give me some money. Okay. Like I want you to buy food when we go outside, so you should totally have an OnlyFans. Right. You should make an OnlyFans. Me? Yeah. So you can buy the wine. I'm gonna first of all. You want the wine? Yeah. <laughs> They're not gonna want to see me, Dougie. They're <laughs> <laughs> not gonna want to see me do what's the the hill toe shit like that. Cause I wanna make an OnlyFans and just do like dance moves, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> like dance and like pay for my dance. You can make it. They wanna see. I don't wanna do it naked. Uh, I wanna just do dance moves. Like, I think that if I didn't have ten dollars for just nineties, I, I would have like a super fully functional twenty dollars for two thousands. Oh, okay. My parents are just like. Over $30 you. for these oh new God, TikTok just... dances because they hard. <laughs> <laughs> they hard as fuck, yo. $30 and I will do the core back core. That's so hard. Yeah. So, OnlyFans coming soon with the dance moves. Oh <laughs> okay, so as long as you're ducking and crumping and all that. Yeah. Hey, sure but you have to on. promote that that's what's on it. Like, that's I am. Like that I'm going to do it in my nightgowns, too. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's going to go crazy. That's going to set it off. You got to crimp up in your nightgowns. Yeah, all kinds of dance moves is coming really, really soon. So, how do y'all feel about OnlyFans and celebrities? I hate it. It's annoying. It bothers me. Yeah, I it bothers me was a looking lot. online and a lot it seems like universally the entire OnlyFans community does not is like, really bummed out about it because yeah. it's like for one, you know that people are going through com- like the way I see it is before we had OnlyFans, the the Kardashians, they all have websites mm-hmm. that you can subscribe to. Like Kim has an app, you have to subscribe to it and it pretty much gives you Exclusive, right. it like, basically is an only like fans. Like you're paid money. from everything, and you else. get paid from everything. Like, you're business. getting paid from your Instagram. Right. Why do you need to get paid from here? All it's crazy. Exactly. I think the Kardashian is the only pe- set of group of people that don't have an only fan. That's because that you would Jenner, expect. Chris Jenner would never let them. Yeah. How they like never. sex? They sell sex, but she has a very specific way Where of marketing them. Exactly, and, and especially now that they're trying to have this like. Modest, right? They're trying to have those different, and then think about why they're rich. Can right, so it's like how many more sex tapes do we really need? Like, we my already sister saw. is so selfish because I think that my sister can make a really good sex tape, 
and my family can be the next Kardashians, and I take all of you with me. I swear, I said that. I'm like, listen, don't let a rapper come in my direction again. Because it's a rap for you. It's crazy. What's crazy? I'm saying, I just say, I have a really, I do this every week. It's so on. Yeah, Miss London, she played herself. I would have took him for everything. Thank every God. week. Every week, I'm gonna leak this tape. I was gonna say, and it would, I would, I would, when he, the first week that he didn't give me money, I would leak it, but only a really a small, small thing, second. like 10 seconds. Not even 10 seconds. Like, like two seconds. Crazy for 10 seconds. Like, people yeah. only fans' videos be ranging from if, like if 10 seconds. You send me seconds. a 10 yeah. second video of you fucking and I loop it, now it's a video. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So you get a good two. Two seconds. You might see a full PF chain. So you're not even gonna know what. Who, How, who that? Who, who it is? Yeah, it's gonna be weeks of y'all trying to figure it out. So yeah, that's why I'm not on OnlyFans because I'm strategic. <laughs> Do you find that having an OnlyFans makes it hard to have? platonic relationships yes. with men. Like, do you find that now you're just overly sexualized? Wait, like everybody who everybody works who works yeah. in the yeah. It's crazy because one of my booze picked me up from the airport and he was like, he was talking about it. He was like, you young, you hustling. Like, I, he's like, I look at you like a hustler. Like, I don't feel like, and he wants to be with me. I'm like, um, how do you keep finding this is for another episode? We're gonna bring you back up here with some relationship advice. How do you keep picking yeah, up? Yeah, because that was true. Because. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> because what know, am I doing wrong? No, like, because people see me on social media and think I'm raunchy, and then yeah. they, they hit me in person and be like, "You're a fucking sweetheart. You're like a baby dog, like a yeah. bear. I want you around all this the time." This is my this is my online persona. Oh, it's a total. I'm not of. like a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more like a lion. Like, I'm so like I'm so more like a lion. I'm so laid back and mellow in person. They be like, I'm, I'm like a fly. <laughs> Do you guys use toys in your only pants? I do. Do you have a favorite toy? I do. What's your favorite toy? I love toy? my vibrator. It has 10 speeds. 10 of my buttons. Yeah, the third one is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to make sure we link that one. I was going to say, tell us what the vibrator is, and I'll link I it. I wish you. I knew. Cause I bought it at some random sex shop in the city, yeah. and it has 10 speeds. Bro. Have you guys ever tried that the thing? rose? The rose? No. Uh, I would get that for my only fans. One of the guys that has sex on OnlyFans actually to suggested. Tell him to buy it and send it to him. No, I'm not going to give my address. But I suggested. P.O. Box. I suggested that yeah. he bought it and he sent me the money for it. So I'm going to go test that shit. Okay, so, so I'm going to. I would have spent the money on weed. Or food. I would definitely. Or I would have ate that. Or clothes. <laughs> I would have ate that. But um, it's like a. I'd give it a. A seven out of ten. Really? Is it really as elite as our first so seven? like the first use, yeah, I got it as a gift. From um, a boy? No. Okay. But it, the first time I used it, it was like really cool or whatever. I dead said it was a ten out of ten. Like I told all my friends the first day, ten out of ten. But then I realized it's a very short. Like it's not gonna last a lot. And I guess sometimes that's what you would go but for. But it's just like really good head because you're going to use it. and then you Okay, so go. three minutes tops. <laughs> oh, no, no, wow. like between one and three minutes. So, oh my God, that's not much. So basically, <laughs> so basically what you're saying is like by the time you pick a video. Yes, you know? yeah, and it's like, I really wanted to know what was going to happen next. And you're just no, done. No, you're, you're done. Like you're done. So if that's what you're looking for, 10 out of 10. But I feel pretty pathetic after I use it. So that's, that's, how feel like that's why I give it a seven out of ten. So yeah. No, my vibrator takes a minute. And, um, <laughs> oh my I'm God. like all over the place. But like, that's it's, like yeah. that's annoying because. Do you guys ever have people request content and give them the content and they're not satisfied with what they got? No. Like okay. I wanted a video of you masturbating and this video wasn't long enough. Mm-hmm. Y'all sure. some people. It was the videos are not long, long enough, enough, right? Because I'm, I'm trying to think I of that, that yeah, as yeah, a so I said that as like a um. Like a blast message. Yeah. They, they were complaining about my videos not being long, but why would I post a long video on the feed when I could right. pay, pay when I could charge you yeah. extra? For pay the ex- and that's what I started doing, and they started paying for it. So. Do you guys have people who consistently request personal content? Yes. Yeah. So they got fans or only fans. Yeah, the super fans. The super fans. Yeah, the super fans. I love it. So there's like so much taboo against. What's it. this setup like behind your pictures? What do you mean? Like, is it just like a flip white wall? Oh, you're in the bathroom. Oh, wow. um, most Like, are they artsy? My, no, mine consists of like hotel rooms, bathrooms, things of that sort. Okay. Yeah, hotels and bathrooms. Okay. So there's like a lot of taboo about 
sex work or OnlyFans for our generation and our like city like so does it like affect you? I feel like our generation is the most accepting of sex work. Now. Yeah, but I know like if you go on like your Instagram or your Facebook, mm-hmm. you're gonna see people bashing OnlyFans. Yeah, girls. It's crazy oh. because it's gonna be the girls, not the guys. No, it was yeah, like, it's it was like no, it's it's sometimes it be it was to be the guys because I had a guy this past week say, Oh, my girl can't have an OnlyFans. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not sure that. Well, I'm not a girlfriend. I'm probably not a girlfriend. Oh, a in the comments, yeah, bro. Right? Oh, I did polls. Right. Post so that's guys. where. With like, would you date a girl who has only fans? I used to post that on my Facebook. I posted on my Facebook, and like, I got a whole bunch of different views. Right. Like, it's a dub. And blah, if you blah, blah, blah. look at the people it's who are crazy, saying no, it's like, crazy because the people that I would never date you. I would never date you. Pat ate my ass before, so it was like. Okay. I'm looking like you a motherfucking lie. No. You were subscribed. But it's crazy like that. My you were doing. <laughs> you were lying. Yeah. You, you wish it was in the video. You wish. I'll be um, I'm trying to find the. Because I Pulse. think that bad this girl. I was like, this nigga is a motherfucking lie. This isn't true. Oh, the one that I posted? Yes. <laughs> this isn't true. So it doesn't really affect your main uh, relationships or the your familial relationships. Uh, does it. Um, Hurt like when you're trying to network with like new people. No, um, I found that I've actually networked a lot better since OnlyFans because I've had like a lot of photographers reach out to me trying to mm-hmm. pay me. Thirty-seven right. people said no. Eleven people said yes. They did a girl with OnlyFans. Who cares about 37 people? <laughs> you have to not care. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. Like, I, you know, I don't or care. you got to be unapologetic. Yeah, you got to be unapologetic about it. Like I'm doing. So at what point? In dating, do you mention I have an OnlyFans? Is that first date conversation? Yeah, well, I have an OnlyFans. You see my socials, you know. Yeah, no, I'm saying, like, if someone's not really paying attention to your social media, you meet. And well, you I have don't. an OnlyFans. I don't care how you feel about me having okay. an OnlyFans. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was like, she got a mad shit at these. But, um, what am I? <laughs> <laughs> Please give me one. <laughs> He's taking me on a cruise, so. Like he was talking about it, and he was he does not know I have an OnlyFans, and I'm like because you give him the, the girlfriend experience, so he yes. wants to feel kind of exclusive. I get it. So I'm like he was talking about like girls in the generation, and oh, um, so he's older. Yes, I'm like. Well, you should know that's how it was gonna go because he's gonna, right because he's gonna have an older. I'm like, man. and he said like he's like oh like. I don't know if y'all was on Clubhouse this early, but one of the first things that happened on Clubhouse was there was a conversation about how people feel about only fans. And it was a guy mid 30s, y'all. He had to be yelling at the top of his lungs. <laughs> oh my God. And he was I like, hated that week on Clubhouse. That first was loud. like really high. Like yelling at the, like the lowest volume on your phone, he still was yelling. <laughs> so he was like yelling about how OnlyFans is not a hustle. Like it's not something that women should be doing. Let's, I'm gonna Google the definition of hustle. I feel like a lot of men feel like that because they can't do it. They can't do it. That's no, what it like, is. At the bottom line is, I'm not paying to see your dick. Ever. 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 I'm yeah. never gonna Ever. do that. Okay. I'm never gonna do that. Like, I'm how would y'all feel if I y'all watch was lesbian porn? I'm really not. I was just about to say, I'm more likely to buy a female female than I am a male. I'm not. I'm gonna be really creeped females. out by there being thirty videos of you being like that. Right. So if you meet a guy and you really like him and he tells you he has OnlyFans, you don't care. I mean, if he's on Tiger level, I'd be like, yeah. I heard Tiger's only having sex with white girls on his OnlyFans. Yes. I and I don't, like I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. I never deal with someone who only dates white girls. Who <laughs> dates white girls? Period. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, who knows white we people? We've been free sex white people. I'm sorry. No. I'm One like, time, no, you ate white girl coochie. I just turned <laughs> off. But. Like, it, it's like, I just be looking like, man, they told you skinny and, you know, puny. Where's like, the ass? Where's the ass? I want to see some, where's the some love candles. They What's going on? Like, 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 what love candles? I'm like, Ty got that. Like, damn. Yeah, no titties. It bothers me. I don't like that. Really? Hustle to earn one's living by illicit or unethical means. This unethical. I.e. sex work. Yeah. Sex I.e. Work. OnlyFans mm-hmm. is a hustle. So sex work is a hustle. I agree. Definitely. And um, so 
they don't, well, the people you date don't get a cut and share your videos. How many different people have you, is it always different people? Do you show their face? No. Okay. It's just me. Okay. But it's just alone? Like, you don't have sex videos? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do they request? Yeah, they do. They do. They want to see you they, they with do. other people. But they don't have to wait. I'm not. You're not ready like, No, no, I am, but I like to prolong it. Okay. Like I said, keep sending me five dollar messages asking for the video. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> females like subscribing to my OnlyFans to see if they niggas go on my OnlyFans. To see if they niggas are in the videos. I didn't have. You know, I ain't never. I would never thought of that. <laughs> imagine. I, would I had a girl. I, listen, imagine. I'm not even gonna like go into details, but I had a bitch mm-hmm. subscribe to my OnlyFans not once, not twice, three times. Three months know. in a row. To see. Your thirty dollars. No, I was blocking her. <laughs> I was about to say oh, thirty. Ninety dollars. First of all, oh, her name man. popped up, he, and then the bitch wrote me on Instagram like, "Oh, you can see who's got your only fans." Yeah, yeah send me. Send me thirty dollars. <laughs> and he, that is crazy. I never thought of that. Like I've never sat at home like I'm gonna get this nigga's on it, somebody's only fans. If you gotta think about it, you just, gotta think to yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah. Just go ahead and let that go. Do you guys often have people write you on other social media requesting news? Yes. Yeah. Like, so you give it like instead of subscribing for thirty dollars, paying I'm saying ten dollars and you take yeah. the last picture you posted. Yeah. You no. Bum bitch. Yeah. No way. No, I cannot. Oh, Twitter, Twitter a lot. Were they already asking for news on Twitter? Because I like I get asked for news on Twitter no, all the time. Like they, well, most of my following came from OnlyFans. I've always had a following on Twitter, but it's like it became crazy since I got. Your life is amazing. Thank you. Yes, You're um, I'm at the I bottom. Is amazing. Yeah, you guys right. can't see them from back there, but they look amazing. <laughs> Make sure you tell them. Yeah, tell them. My friend is amazing. What's her Instagram? We almost. It's almost oh, time for that. Like, it's Beast and Lash. She's amazing. I she's sweet girl. It looks but, amazing. Yeah. And she has. You guys can't tell, but there's like rhinestones on her lashes. Amazing. I really yeah. kind of Okay, let's get. <laughs> <laughs> right. So wait, um, do you want to do the question in your email? Oh yes. <clears throat> so we're gonna do. Uh, what is it? Roommate with Renee. That's the email. What is that? She made that up because I've never named. What's it. What's the email? <laughs> I feel like it's Roommate with Renee. That's <laughs> not it. The email is don't call me with RC. Okay, I have no idea where I got that from. <laughs> Rooming with Renee is cute though. So if you have any questions or need any advice, email don't quote me with rc at gmail.com. Mm, I'm looking for the question. You guys have to keep talking, sorry. Uh is it the one that you sent me? Maybe. With from the guy. Probably. Okay, so I'm gonna read it. I have it. Go ahead. Ooh, I'm not gonna read it like really, really fast like she does because you know some people are slow. Okay, the question is, okay, so it's not really a question. So it starts off as self depression is fucking with me, feeling nobody want me, trying to shoot my shot, getting dubbed, not feeling like I'm good looking, feeling ugly, feeling like I'm too fat, nobody would want me, not having confidence in myself. Uh, like, no funny shit, I'm mad lonely, and I don't like it. I be wanting to go crazy sometimes, no funny shit. Nobody even pay me no mind, like, that shit dead be fake fucking with me. I dead just want to vibe, I'm tired of being alone, and this is not it. And it's taking a toll on me now, it's really bothering me. I done seen the ugliest people happy, and I know I'm not that bad looking, and I can't find nobody. Is your voice breaking me? What's going on? (laughs) <laughs> you was sad reading this. Yeah, no. Yeah, and you just killed. You know what's so funny? I forgot that was a question. You just killed the vibe of the it whole show. It was a sad show. Lesson. Yes, and nobody, that. nobody wants me. Shit is annoying and depressing. And this is from a guy. Yeah, yeah I know. Um, I know. I'm gonna go first because you got to go first last week with your question. So I actually answered this question just because I didn't want to make the person wait until we got here. But I think that happiness is something that has to come from yourself like you're never going to be in a successful relationship if you cannot be happy on your own because then when they're <clears throat> excuse me then when they're gone you don't really have anything to fall back on and i find that often like natural negativity something that is like embedded in you is going to bleed through no matter how much you fake it right. so like if you are only happy because we are together i'm right. still going to be able to tell that you're not happy exactly. and it's going to kill my vibe and i and i don't want i find that as i was saying in the beginning of the, the first episode I really need you to be someone who is like mentally there for me and 
you're not in a position to help me. Like, how are you in a position to make me happy if you can't make you happy? I also think that we have, like, forever. Like, I know that if you think about it, it's like, damn, I'm already 23 and I can't find love. But, like, 23 is really, really, really early to not find love, in my opinion. Like, I think that you have forever. If we were, like, I mean, I guess if we were, like, Indian, we'd be married. But, like, <laughs> if you were in white, you would have, like, just graduated high school. I mean, just graduated college. You would still be dating your college sweetheart mm-hmm. or whatever, but mm-hmm. you would be like trying to find a job or something. I just think that in like black communities where like people have babies at 19, it's just like, oh, well, I'm super late, especially right. because the question came from someone who already has a child. Mm-hmm. So I know they probably already feel like I tried at the love thing mm-hmm. and I felt at the love thing and then I tried again and it still isn't going well. I just think, and I also think that I'm a true believer in like putting the energy into the world without actually seeking for something. I don't think that love is something that you can find or look for. I, right, so look for you. I think it's something that's gonna have to come to you because every time you find it, it's gonna be more. I guarantee. Yeah. Yeah. Because you forced it. Yeah. And then you, because the thing is, you cannot meet someone and be like, I'm definitely gonna love you. You meet someone and you're like, I think they're Over cute. Over the past time, yeah. What are you talking over? about? When I meet somebody, I put she a lot of sweat in it. I have to be like, she would I have a baby with him? Oh would we have a house? <laughs> or would like, he be mad because I, I want to live in a condo? I like, swear are we going to have a dog? Her. Mentally, I swear to God. I'm, I'm, just, the first I'm a Libra. You said that you oh. were a city girl and I was a lover girl. And yeah, so I'm definitely 100% a city girl. But it's like, I do mentally note like, damn. We gonna mess around, but I don't wanna have his babies. Mm-hmm. His mom act kind of schizophrenic. She might. Y'all know we love to say somebody's mom is schizophrenic. So I feel like my advice would stem from first, if you are unhappy about something regarding like the way you look, either uh get comfortable with it or change it like if you have no like confidence is going to be the first right. thing that's going to attract and i realized that's that was, that's, that was the first thing, thing i was going to say like people can see when you're not as confident mm-hmm. and you carry yourself differently. and how you carry yourself no matter what you wear like you could look good head to toe you could be dressed nice you could smell nice you could actually the super cute nigga in the club who's sitting in the corner because it's like and nobody's right so that was my the first thing and my second thing is Dating right now is very, very weird. Like, we're at, like, a weird dating stage where it's, like, we're not going out to the club or going out to a I was going to say, it also We're not really it. meeting anybody. So it's, like... Your dating pool is just the people that right, I on social media. Right, and it's literally just social media. So if the person who thinks you're cute is not sure about how to... Because I'm never... Re- I don't really write guys. I was going to say, Giovanni has, like, no game, y'all. I <laughs> have no... I don't She's really write guys. Write you first. If you... Honestly, if somebody is interested in me, it's because they witnessed my personality or like they've been around me or like I'm never gonna write you like, hey. I'm like that too. I think you're cute. Oh I, I'm like that. I too. Write you. I, I was gonna say, I, I'm happy you. that you guys are sitting on that side and we're sitting on this side because I everybody knows me that knows that I am the pilot of my own life. Mm-hmm. I am very <laughs> aggressive. I'm, so I'm going to write you first. I'm going to ask you all the questions I want. I'm gonna ask you on the first date. If you want kids, do you have kids? Do you want kids with your baby mother? Like, is she dead? Is your mom schizophrenic? But you know what's crazy, too? A lot of the times, our situations don't work out. <laughs> we, I tried to scroll past that. Is your baby a lot of the times, things question. don't work out is at the same time of what are, like, contradicting what I just said. We deal with people who come for us first. So if, yeah. like, the, what she's saying is good, like, picking out who she wants yeah, is different. I find that that's what it has to be. Because or it's more effective. The people that are going to be... Let's use you guys as, as an example. You guys have a huge following because on OnlyFans, you are a sex symbol. Therefore, people are going to see you as a sex symbol. People are going to seek after you. For one, I like to like um, Let maneuver. Me. I like to maneuver between the people that I'm even going to interact with. Like I feel like often when guys inbox you, they DM you, you know mm-hmm. what the intentions are off of how they send the message. Mm-hmm. So to avoid that, I make myself unapproachable. And if you if there's a conversation for us to have, then I'm going to do the approaching. Yeah, and make sure you're not unapproachable. Because I feel like I'm unapproachable and I'd be mad that people don't want to approach me. But if you come off as super unapproachable, people are just, they're pussy. They're not also, if your last relationship hasn't approachable. ended publicly, publicly, publicly it's going to be hard to get into another one. Because people, even if you're not posting the relationship, mm-hmm. people are still going to assume. Right. Like, what happens to such and such? You right. like, somebody else. Like, <laughs> what happens right. to such and such? It's crazy because people always ask me about my daughter's father. Like, or people associate you with someone else. Yeah. Oh, right. And you're like, just like, I've been in a new relationship for like four years. I don't even know what you're asking. 
But it's always exactly. like that. It's always like that. So do you guys have any advice for him? I mean, I was insecure. I definitely was insecure once. Especially after having my daughter, I was in a deep depression. I had four of depression. And that, like, it was to the point that I ended up in the hospital. So how did you start dating after that was over? Like, how did I start dating? Damn, it took me a while. Because you had to work on... I had to work on myself and right. again. Which I feel like a lot of people, not just women, because it's just something that people associate with women. A lot of people are insecure or have been insecure. insecure. Everyone has Right, right. especially a physical attribute. It's not just about, like, what you're thinking. Someone, you, people nitpick about everything. So something on your face, on your body, the way you walk, something physical, there's something physical that you don't like about yourself. And not everything you could change. You can't change everything. So it's either you have to, you you really have to get comfortable or, you know, just learn to live with certain things because you can't change everything about you. Like, it's just, Hmm. there's not enough money in the world. That's why I'm very happy on the holding your head high, like holding yourself to a, put yourself on a pedestal that nobody can tell you shit to me. Nobody can tell me shit. Because like I've been I've been insecure before. I was insecure when I was in high school. And there's none of that no more. Like, I'm very, I talk shit too. So I don't care. Like, nobody literally can tell me nothing. And I also think that dating is, like, a lot less about attractiveness yeah. than it is about everything. That's what I was about to say. Because when he like, ended it off, like, I see the ugliest people in relationships. And they be so happy. They be happy. But it's because they're happy with themselves. Right. Right. They're happy with themselves. They're happy with the person that they're with. It's not important to Right. Them. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and that is so subjective. Um, subjective. So someone's going to look at you and they're going to be like, well, I don't like dark skin guys. Just like, we all have a preference. Somebody out there is for you. So Not everybody's going to like you. Right. And no, exactly. You're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. So well, it's whatever. Um, definitely don't look to date. Yeah. I would That's, just like focus on making myself happy with myself. Right. And let everything else fall into place. Because when you are happy with yourself, things just happen to you. They just start falling yeah, into place. Into place. Everything starts Agreed. going well. Mm-hmm. And but when you are miserable, I don't know anybody else who is. Ever, I'm always miserable. Mm-hmm. Things just go wrong. Things mm-hmm. go wrong. Nothing is gonna go right because you put that energy into the world. That. You, you manifest have, it and you once make you things. Start feeling sorry for yourself. Things right. Like once you wake up, you're just like, fuck it. Fine. Yeah. 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 Fuck it. Exactly. Fuck it. That's how I wake up. Fuck it every morning. Okay. Somebody is gonna think um a 10 but somebody might think i'm a one and, that's and, okay. that's and okay. until yeah. i meet the person who thinks i'm a 10 i mean he's got to wait for him yeah so just definitely we agree don't look for it wait for, um, it, to come. Wait for it to come be a little bit more calm and if your weight is something that's bothering you fix it fix mm-hmm. it yeah. fix that's it. the bottom line my weight is something that's bothering me so i'm gonna get my body done everyone should go oh i thought you was talking about the weight for the person because the weight do bother me. <laughs> it's bothering me. The weight's not bothering the weight. me. It's the weight. The weight. The weight. <laughs> you know, that could be fixed. Um, okay. Um, uh, you guys have to give me your favorite song, your favorite article of clothing, and give them your Instagrams. Something you want them to buy, something you want them to listen to, and then the Instagram you want them to follow. Also, give them your OnlyFans tag. I'll put it in the bio so that you guys can subscribe and message them. And pay them five dollars every time. Please don't message me unless you pay me. Please, please, please don't, don't bother these ladies. Yeah, please, please don't bother these ladies. I was listening to Renee's podcast. She told me to write you. Don't, 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 don't. They'll, they'll do it. They'll do it. Please don't do it. They'll that. do it. They'll do it. So, but before you say that, tell us um some rules like what you don't want. Yeah, tell them. Tell them the rules on of your OnlyFans. Tell them like what don't you want. Do not hit me up oh to tell God. me. Stop asking to collab with me, especially if you're a man. Right. I don't do male collabs. And I'm very happy on that. No, you cannot. I'm sex if we're not in a relationship, no, don't sex me. Clarify, don't me. Um, a collab means they want to have sex with you, right? Yes. yes. But that's on YouTube. You know the collabs be like they they morph their videos onto one right. screen. No, like, they want to have sex they, with you. Yeah. Like, so I think, I think that's what collab meant. So yes, no. that means when two people create content together. Yeah. So I just thought that we were gonna like. Webcam side. No. no. It's like, like sure. It's no. Do so you that's think that we're gonna, gonna, gonna. That's so crazy. To it, it, it's the craziest thing ever. Okay. So there's. If you do all the things that I do, that makes sense. But I feel like every people writing them that don't that even don't even do all the things. Exactly. They just want to fuck. Like, 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 they just want to fuck. Like, 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 what? Exactly. You're crazy. So don't. That was gonna happen. 
it. So go ask for no collabs. Don't DM them, tell them you subscribe and just subscribe. Don't write them on Twitter. <laughs> write them on OnlyFans where you have to pay for it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Pay for You're not going to give up any conversation. And don't tell them lower their prices. That's rude. Yeah. Somebody told me that once. It's only $18. You got $18? $18, $18 yes. is like not even weed. When I went back up to the exactly. 30s, somebody was like, you need to do that 15 Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right just now. say that. Yes. That's not my problem. That's just exactly. problem. I think it's down right now. Then you're gonna be treated to only to um porn up this month. Exactly. Right. It seems exactly. super like there is free porn, but free porn is garbage. So I'm gonna say my song of the week. Okay. I'm gonna look for my. Um, you looking at this and you looking for love? Don't don't watch this part. Did you go think? My favorite song is Pimpin' by Tony Ayo. <laughs> oh my god. And, and y- y'all don't think that means it's because I'm pimping? But if you're looking for love and you're looking for me, I changed my answer. And um, my favorite item of the week, I think I'm gonna go with my uh, pink ultimate yoga leggings. I'm gonna stand up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so get these, they real expensive. But I used to work there and they a horrible company to work for, but these leggings is cute, comfy. So Renee, tell them your song. My song is, um, oh my god, she's draining. I can't think of the name and I'm looking for it. So somebody else go. Um, of the week. My favorite song of the week is Dead Man Walking. Um, I don't know how to pronounce his name, so y'all gonna have to help me. He um he just came out. I'm gonna. Is it on Apple Music? Yes. Dead man. So I guess I gotta listen to Dead Man. Rick right? Fires, I love Rick Fires. Oh, yes. hold on, yes. yeah. And I just I got like put him. onto that song, I and I, I listen to that song over listen and over to and over. Listen all of his music. Me, me Go just, follow him on Instagram, girl. stream him, cause he, yo. Girl, I've been listening to him for well, like that's about why a week now. Don't mind telling you that. So what's that's your favorite um, clothing item that you want to buy? It can be an accessory. Oh yeah, cause you work at Saks. Tell us what's about. My favorite accessory is my oversized jeans. I knew she was gonna say that. Like, cause I got all the. Colors. Colors. Yeah. So, I <laughs> That's my I'm, I'm sorry, your Dior. Dior. My Dior shades. Oh, the shades, the shades. Oh, yeah, the oversized ones. Yeah. Very cute. cute. <laughs> it's stylish. Okay, guys, you can do yours on the last. <laughs> my favorite song right now. My favorite song is Frank Ocean and Pyramids. Like, I listen to that I love every that song. Every That's every amazing. Week. I album. love that song. Every Channel week Arch I give a throwback an, song. Yeah, you can love Arch that song. Was an amazing album. I love that song so much. And what's the I'm, quote? Love that song. Um, Kobe, my Crocs. I don't have them on right now. Yeah, I, usually always, have them on. I usually always have them on. I decided not to love them. My mom and my aunt said I can't wear my Crocs. I yeah, love my, 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 Crocs. my friend told me don't wear Crocs again. Yeah. I said, but you didn't watch the They're last so episode. So cute and comfortable. I yes. love them. Um, okay, my song is While We're Young by Yune Aiko. I like that song. Oh my, I love this song. Do you know I'm, the movie 50 for 8? Yes. yes. Amazing. <laughs> And now that I finally own it, my article is the product bag that goes across with the pouch. Ooh, I got very it cute. Today. That's why I'm late. Honestly, I'm late today because I have to stop taking my back. Okay, good reasoning. I'm Thank late. you guys for watching. I was um, late for tacos. Like, <laughs> like, subscribe, share. Um, give them your Instagrams before we go. Um, my Instagram is addiebaby, A-D-I-I-B-B-Y-Y underscore. Oh, we're going to link All of that. my links crazy. is in my link tree in my bio, too. So you don't even have to search for nothing. Um, my Instagram is Miss Hollywood to me. It's Miss with I- M-I-S-S Hollywood to me. T-A-M-I-S-E. I'm going to repeat it. T-A-M-I-S-E. <laughs> subscribe to their OnlyFans. <laughs> and send the messages that you're willing to pay for. My Please. Instagram is the real Renee and My social media is Giovanni Tainetta on all platforms. Thank you guys for watching. Everywhere. We'll see you next week. Even TikTok. <laughs> <laughs>